Did you know if you tap the trigger while blind firing a grenade launcher, it's gonna become rapid fire and shoot full auto? That's only one of 101 GTA Online facts that we're gonna be going over today. Keep score. Let me know how many of these you know. Comment in the comment section below. If you know over half of these, you're a GTA veteran. Let's go. If you can time it right and aim and enter a vehicle at almost the exact same time, the driver will just jump out and run away. This speeds up the process of stealing vehicles. You can instantly stop any vehicle, even if it's at max speed, by quickly switching to single player through the character selection menu and then cancelling that screen. Molotovs are one of the few weapons that you can't buy from ammunition, but most players don't know that if you go into your submarine, into the kitchen, you can get them for free just sitting there on your table. You can delete every single contact from your phone in GTA Online except for Mechanic and Moore's Mutual, which kinda makes sense. Unless you have bulletproof tires, doing a burnout for too long will actually pop your tires. If you turn your TV on in one of your apartments, it will also turn the TV on in every other apartment that you own. You can actually fast travel back to your CEO office from anywhere on the map by calling your assistant and requesting a luxury helicopter. Once inside, you can click quick travel and you'll teleport there. Location and I'll take care of the rest. I'll work on Norfolk. All right. Your character walks faster upstairs if you're in first person as opposed to if you're in third person. Not really sure why this one's a thing. It's actually faster to rank up in Arena Wars by spinning the wheel in your Arena Workshop than if you actually wanted to play Arena Wars. Yeah, it's, it's faster to spin a wheel than actually playing the game. Crazy. This one's caused a lot of confusion. If Chop isn't in the office with Franklin in your agency, he'll still be somewhere else in the agency, probably upstairs, most likely on your bed. Rockstar regularly reuses interiors in almost every single mission in the entire game. Just in the Cayo Perico heist setups alone, you have to go to reused interiors like the document forgery office and the garage in the vehicle workshop. This is all to save time so that Rockstar can release more updates. If you're on console, you can actually yell into your microphone while robbing convenience stores to speed up the process. The original blonde loading screen girl for GTA 5 and GTA Online is completely wrong geographically. You can go to the beach and look for yourself. This is not where this should be. The windows on your bunker bed actually shut at night time. If you tip the nightclub bathroom attendant 577 times, you'll unlock the Epsilon robes. After a few hundred tips, a pop-up will say chasing the truth, so keep going until it says bearing the truth and then you'll have the robes. Back on April 1st in 2020, Rockstar did one of the ultimate April Fool's pranks by adding snow into the game for just one day. Now that is a pretty good prank. The mysterious Madrazo files, which is the whole point we actually start the Kaya Perico heist in the first place, the files are quite literally just photos between Patricia and Trevor from single player, showing scandalous pictures that they took during their affair in the game. Luckily for Patricia though, Martin Madrazo burns these files in the final cutscene. There's actually hidden dialogue in the Dr. Dre contract that's completely different if a player has a penthouse and a yacht compared to players who don't. Take a listen. If you wanted to reach level 1000 in GTA Online, you would need 47,551,850 RP. That would take you thousands and thousands of hours. You can't take any open vehicles where the player is exposed through a car wash. Now, obviously this makes sense, but this would be absolutely hilarious if you could. I hope this is a thing in GTA 6. You have to be level 100 in order to be able to buy the heavy sniper from ammunition. But if you're not a high enough level, you can just buy the weapons upgrade in the Kasatka or any of the properties that can get it. 
and you can just buy the Mark II version instead at any level. And the Mark II version is better in every single way. The new street dealers are one of the only NPCs in the entire game that you can't actually kill or damage. Did you know that if you bought the Patriot tire smoke on any car, you can no longer customize that vehicle in LS Customs? Yeah, the only way you can actually fix this is by going into the Arena War Workshop and fixing it there. Which means any player that had this bug before Arena Wars was introduced into the game could would never customize that vehicle again. There are some notable features from single player missing from online. Some of the most notable ones are the tow truck that features heavily in the single player, isn't available in online, or the cable car that takes you to the top of Mount Chiliad. These were likely removed due to their trolling capabilities or just the amount of bugs that could happen. You can actually get inside of the train in GTA Online. This has been in the game for so long that I'm not actually sure if it's a bug or a feature. There's a ghost on top of Mount Gordo. It only appears between 11 p.m. and midnight though. This is the ghost of Jolene Cranley Evans, the deceased wife of Jock Cranley, and at her feet, in blood, is the name Jock. That's creepy. Speaking of the Mount Gordo ghost, on the facility webpage for the Mount Gordo facility, it's the only one that states it is not haunted, even though, well, it definitely is. There's a very popular racing strategy that speedrunners use called curb boosting. This speeds up your car quite a bit and it just involves you driving on and off of the curb repeatedly. After doing 600 resupply missions for your bunker, if you start another mission between 9pm and 11pm at night, you have a chance to get this secret UFO resupply mission, which has aliens and an alien egg. Another secret is the alien tattoo. The only way to get this is by completing the secret resupply mission. Then on a stormy or rainy night between 1 and 4 a.m., if you take a Macbeth shot in your nightclub, you have a chance to spawn on top of Mount Chiliad and watch a UFO fly away, and then you'll have the tattoo. I honestly don't know how anyone even ever found this. El Rubio, the main antagonist of the Calle Perico heist, has some photos in his office that lead back to Red Dead Redemption 2. These two characters here are clearly children from the Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign, and fans believe that this little boy right here is actually El Rubio's grandfather. If you own the casino penthouse and you take a Macbeth shot in the casino, there's a very small chance you'll randomly wake up with a secret truck mission that you have to deliver back to the casino. There's also another very rare instance if you take a Macbeth shot in the casino. If you're lucky, you'll wake up on top of a random building wearing the Kiflon t-shirt. This is one of the most rare shirts in the entire game. You can unlock a hidden gunman in the Diamond Casino heist. His name is Patrick McReary, a fan favorite from GTA 4. All you have to do is be in a lobby with at least three players, wait by the military base, and wait for a blue dot to appear on the map. This will be a police escort. If you take out the cops and deliver him back to the safe, house, you'll be able to use them in the Diamond Casino heist. Currently, in 2023, there are 18 different games to play in the arcade. You need to buy these from the laptop inside your casino, and some of these are actually throwbacks to old Rockstar games. Shooting a flare into another player's parachute will instantly destroy it and send them falling towards the ground. Rockstar Games recently removed the iFruit app from app stores, so currently there's actually no way to customize your in-game license plates. There have been rumors though that Rockstar will add a new way to do this in upcoming DLCs. In the first dose missions when your character goes on this massive trip, you'll have to chase down this bunny rabbit and continue to hunt it over and over again. If you're actually playing this mission with other players though, one of those players will be that rabbit, and whoever kills the rabbit then becomes the rabbit. It's actually a cool little mini game. You can actually only get away with running over two pedestrians in GTA Online. If you run over and kill a third one, no matter where you are, the cops will be alerted. You can drive any car underwater for as long as you want, as long as the exhaust is above the water. Now, for most cars, the exhaust is on the bottom of the car, but for some, it actually comes out the top, and it leads to some really weird instances like this.
As long as there's a little tiny bit of water, you can actually take a boat wherever you like, which can lead to some really strange things happening like this. You can stick tear gas to a wall by waiting for the beeps to stop and then throwing it. Explosions from a sticky bomb are in a 90 degree direction, which means if you're good enough, you can avoid the explosions in certain situations. The Sparrow helicopter has a top speed of 168.75 miles per hour, giving it the highest top speed for a helicopter in the game. But if you wanted to know which helicopter was fastest around a track, that title belongs to the Kanata. This was discovered when the YouTuber Bruffy1322 discovered this by racing it around a track in 51.961 seconds, three seconds faster than any other helicopter previously. Similar to the double action revolver we spoke about in part one, the Switchblade also has a custom animation as well. The chandeliers in the Pacific Standard Bank are incredibly bugged, and this, this is just hilarious. You can do stuff like this. You can cut your parachute from any height, and when you do that, you'll survive fall damage into the water. You can rob any store by shooting the cash registers in there. Now, of course, this isn't an official robbery like the convenience stores where the guy will hand you the bag and it won't pay you as much money, but it's still a cool little feature that's in the game. If you complete your daily objectives for 28 days in a row, you're going to get a bonus $750,000. That's a lot of work for not even a million dollars. The Lost Slam Van is one of the most rare vehicles in the entire game. The only way you can actually win it is from the Casino Mystery Prize on the Lucky Wheel, and even then the chances are very, very small. Speaking of the casino wheel, if you're wondering why you never win the podium vehicle, that's because you only actually have a 5% chance. And if you're wondering why you always get RP, well, have a look at your screen, that's probably why. A lot of players don't actually know that not only do you have hair color, but you can also change the color of your highlights in your hair. So you can make it look cool and look like you have multicolored hair. You can actually go AFK in the LS car meet by choosing any vehicle, going into the test track, and then backing out of the car meet but sitting in this screen right here. As long as you don't tab out of the game, you can stay in this screen forever. That way you can let your businesses fill up in the backgrounds and make money passively. Just be careful of that electricity bill though. If you max out your like rating with one of the lovely ladies in the vanilla unicorn, you'll gain their phone number and then you can actually call them to your apartment for a private dance. A cool little detail, your clothes will only actually get wet up to the level that you went in water. This is a small little detail that a lot of games don't actually take the effort to do. There's a secret walkway under the pier, so if you ever need to sneak up on someone, maybe this is a pretty good way to do it. Not only can you shoot gas tanks, but if you go up and punch one, it will also blow up. Our characters must be insanely strong to be able to do this. If you kick these chairs at the end of the pier, they will eventually break, but it takes a bit of effort. If you're in passive mode and you kick a troublemaker out of your nightclub, then walk straight back into the nightclub, that troublemaker will reappear indefinitely until you stop walking in and out. This is a really fast way to boost your popularity and your nightclub back up to full. 
The Ruiner 2000 is the only vehicle in the game that will actually shock players that try to get in when they don't have access. You can launch golf balls into your friends if you just turn around and aim at them. It's pretty funny, but I mean, you're probably gonna lose the game if you do that, so maybe wait until you have a bit of a lead to do this one, you know? The Troublemaker is not always the same person when you actually kick them out. You can see here, this dude looks completely different to the guy that's gonna appear in this cutscene when I throw him out. So, I don't know, maybe we got the wrong guy? Hmm. Similar to Franklin in the Dr. Dre contract, Pavel will actually recognize when you have your own truck in the setup for the long fin in the Kayaparico heist. When you deliver a customer's vehicle from the auto shop and when you complete the auto shop contracts, you will now get LS car meet rep. This was a change Rockstar made in the middle of 2022 because people were complaining that they couldn't get LS Kami rep very quick. If you're a returning player, you'd be happy to know that now the Oppressor Mark II only has 20 rockets. I wouldn't quite say it's balanced, but it's a lot worse than it was years ago. This is the buggiest building in all of GTA. Let me show you all of the glitches. This ladder makes you glitch into the sign. The sign is floating, and the lights aren't actually attached to anything. Around the back, there's these weird ladders that only work backwards and bug out the camera. This booth at the airport has bulletproof glass, and only one way in. It's almost like Rockstar forgot to add this window on purpose. Grand Theft Auto's healing system is very, very strange. You can actually survive underwater even though your character is drowning as long as you have snacks. You can just keep healing yourself over and over, apparently giving your character more air or something. I'm not too sure, man. I feel like if I was drowning, snacks wouldn't be my first option. I'm surprised at how many players don't even know this feature exists. You can highlight any other player on your minimap. The easiest way to do this is through your interaction menu and it can help you find players that you want to track down easier. These next two facts were first discovered by Dark Viper AU, so shout out to him. If you take a BMX into shallow water and jump, you may actually get the floating BMX glitch. Also from Dark Viper, if you throw five sticky bombs underwater, it creates this effect. If you drive into this window at the Life Invader store, you instantly die. I'm, I'm not sure why, that's gotta be a bug. Deep underwater, there's a reference to Lost. This bunker here looks almost exactly like it does in Lost. Rockstar clearly had a difficult time coding the parachute drops because all across Los Santos, the parachute drops normally bug into the ground. Even if you reverse into one of your garages, it will always show a little cutscene of you driving forward. The Oppressor Mark 1 is based off the Street Hawk movie. This bike looks almost the exact same. When you have your phone out, you actually can't toggle the headlights on your car. This is one of the very strange facts in the entire game. On the Southern San Andreas Super Auto's website, the Vapid Retinue has a much higher quality photo than any other car in the game. They must have hired a professional photographer for this one or something, I don't know man. After scouting out Cayo Perico, the fastest way back to the plane is actually just to die. Normally when I'm doing it, I just jump off this tower here and teleport back to the plane. Spoiler alert, Dr. Friedlander is actually in the last of those missions. This caused a lot of confusion because people thought he died in story mode when Michael can kill him at the end of their therapy sessions, but this actually isn't the canon ending. In this mission, you don't actually have to kill Dr. Friedlander, you can just let him get away. That is now the canon ending. If you break your vehicles that are stored in the facility, like the Avenger, for example, their broken parts appear in the facility. Kinda cool. When you're towing an AA trailer, you can actually go 
in passive mode as the driver and have someone else in the actual AA gun, meaning that someone behind you can still kill everyone but no one can actually blow up the truck towing it because you're in passive mode. Once you hit $45 million of sales through your warehouses, piles of money will start appearing in your CEO office. Rockstar recently added stash houses into GTA Online. Really cool feature. With these stash houses, a couple cool facts you might want to know. There are 25 possible spawn locations. And for some reason, if you can't find the safe code when you're inside, there's only 10 possible combinations of codes. All of those are on your screen now. El Rubio is actually just a nickname. This character's real name is Juan Strickler. I don't know if he's more or less scary now that I know his name is Juan. In order to tease Red Dead Redemption 2, Roxa introduced three different treasure hunts into GTA Online. Completing one of these will get you a stone hatchet, another one will get you the double action revolver, and the third one will get you the navy revolver. All of these are weapons that are available in Red Dead Redemption 2. If Roxa did this for Red Dead 2, I wonder how they're gonna tease GTA six in GTA Online. I reckon there's going to be some really cool events. Shout out to Gilly Master for this one. You can actually kill a god mode player with a Kanjali by starting up a headhunter mission, then driving over him and jamming them under your tank. For some reason, this is going to kill them. Even to this day, I get hundreds of comments about this one. The canon story ending to GTA 5's single player is C, Death Wish. We know this because Trevor is in the Series A funding heist. Franklin owns the A agency with us, and there's also been references to Michael in the Dr. Dre contract as well. He's currently working at the movie studio. All three characters are still alive, which means the canon ending is C. Drinking green juice in GTA Online is a reference to when Michael did it in single player. They do the exact same animation and don't look too pleased. You can cancel sell missions for your businesses in GTA Online by changing lobbies. As a result, you will lose some of the product, but it's a better alternative than completing some of the worst sell missions in the game. Contrary to popular belief, GTA Online actually launched October 1st, two full weeks after Grand Theft Auto V launched. A lot of people think they launched on the same day. That's not true. Rockstar wanted to give us two weeks with the single player before they let us jump into online. Just like the gunman, you can also unlock a secret hacker in the Diamond Casino heist as well. This hacker is A.V. Schwartzman, and to unlock him, you need to destroy all 50 signal jammers around the map. Another feature that not all players actually know about is you can skip pages on your phone by using left or right on the d-pad on controller or using the arrow keys on pc if you wait too long on the phone with any of the characters in the game they'll check to make sure you're still there The Tesseract is the only vehicle in all of GTA Online that for some reason is immune to the catch-up feature in races. During one of the setups for the prison contract, you have to steal a massive ramp from a movie set. What they're filming is a fake version of Terminator. And when you try and take out the Terminator, he's gonna have way more health than any of the other characters. One of the locations this event can spawn is actually in the sewers, which is also an easter egg to the sewer chase in Terminator 2. Your character will actually look in the rear view mirror when you toggle the rear view look in cars. Back in 2020, in order to tease the Kaya Perigo heist, Rockstar did this through some in-game teasers. One of which was construction outside the casino, and the other one was a random body that would wash up on shore somewhere towards the south of the map. This body was supposedly washed up from Kaya Perigo. Also in their reveal trailer for the Kaya Perigo heist, the coordinates that were on the bottom of the map actually led to some random location that no one really knew. But at this location, the roads here actually kind of look like they resemble a VI or a 6. This is what many people believe to be the first teaser for Grand Theft Auto 6. And those are 101 more facts about GTA Online. Let me know in the comments below, did you know over half of these? If you did, you are absolutely a GTA veteran. Let me know your score in the comments below. Reply to my comment. If I see your reply, I'll give it a heart. I hope you're all having an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next video. Check out part one if you haven't seen it as well. Peace.